Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an organizer and may now speak to any other organizers or panelists on the line. When you are ready to begin the presentation, press the Start Broadcast button on the GoToWebinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. <clears throat> The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay. Um. So let's begin guys. And uh <clears throat> okay, so good morning, everyone. Happy New Year to everyone. Good morning, Avran. Uh, good morning, Saeed. Good morning, uh, Raghavendra. Good morning, Chandrasekhar. Good morning, everyone. So we were doing CRM last time. So what we have done so far, so we have done till uh, chapter six. So we'll start from the chapter seven. Okay, 
So unit number seven, partner processing. And that is the topic we will talk about. And that is where we left in the last. Partner processing. So how the partner processing happened in the system? We talked about this concept when we were doing uh, uh, SD also. So this concept of partner determination is, is constant on both sides. So it's constant on SD and CRM is pretty similar on both sides. Okay. So how do we, uh, how the system determine partner functions? So when I'm doing a transaction, okay. So when I'm doing a transaction, So yesterday I was there in the class and then probably you guys misunderstood or whatever. Um, so anyways, um, so, so when I'm getting a transaction and uh, many other transaction we did, we create a quotation and all that. And uh, we created transaction type Z012, okay? So if I creating a transaction and uh, so here in the transaction, And if we're creating a transaction, Okay. I select my quotation and this was my document type we created. Okay. If I enter my customer, now here, We have a list of partners. 
Now here in the list of partners, we have all these different partners which appear. We have sold to party, ship to party, payer, bill to party, and employee responsible. All these different partners are appearing. So all these different partners do appear. All these partner functions are appearing. Now how they are coming? From where we are getting these partner functions? Sold to, ship to, build to, pair, employee responsible. And if I go drop down here, then we have these partners. Sold to, ship to, build to, pair, sales manager, sales employee, employee responsible. So all these partners are there. So how come and from where these partner functions are coming from? What is the source? That is what we are talking about. So that is what we see here on this picture. Then when we are doing a partner, then system determine what partners will come, which partners are mandatory, which partners are optional, which partners are not optional. Okay. So we can get all these information. which partners are involved. So when we are getting here in the drop down, why only these partners are appearing? Why we have only these partners? And now here, we have a one, two, three, four, five. So these five partners, are appearing but if I go to drop down I have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are total of 7 but then 5 are appearing 2 are not appearing for some reason so don't know what is the reason for it Which partner must be involved? Must be. Means mandatory. Which external partner are involved? List of partners. Which internal partner? External basically means your sold to party, ship to party, build to party and all that is called external partner. And then you have internal partner. So if you look at here, so you are sold to, ship to, build to, pair. These are our external partner. Sales manager, sales employee and employee responsible. These are your internal partner. So you have external partner and then you have your internal partner. That is where we have a partner processing. Now, how does the partner determination happens? There are three steps. Create transaction. Enter the main transaction. 
and the rest of transaction the rest of the partner comes so three step process so we did not enter so if you look at here so i entered this one partner here sold to party so sold to party i entered that i enter manually 300043 so that i entered but the rest of the partner did not came here So that is what we see here. Partner can be at the header level, and partner can be at the light uh, line item level. So partner can be at both levels, header and at the line item. So as both places we can have a partner. you can have a partner which is mandatory now what is that basically means if you see here look at my screen carefully and if i go here in the red color there is one error message here it says entered sales employee enter sales employee and this is where we have a sales employee so sales employee is one of the partner function and it's mandatory but it is not determined that is why we get error messages okay okay so we have a automatic partner search we have a manually changeable alternative partner means some partner you can change manually so we go back here let us say about 30043 now this partner if i want to change it it doesn't allow me to change if shift to party i want to change from 43 to 46 or whatever i can change it so shift to party i am able to change so to party i cannot change it does not allow me to change shift to party i can change our partner determine automatically so how they come this partner come so that basically means couple of important thing partner which is mandatory you need to have it if this partner is not there the system going to throw error message so for example uh, sales employee is a mandatory partner whether is a partner determine automatically whether you can change it whether you can have a partner a header and line item both so if you go back here this is an header and if i enter and if i enter my partner ok 
Okay. You can have partner <clears throat> at the header level also, and you can have a partner at the line item level also. So partner can be there at both places. I would like you guys to make a note of the bullet point number two. So I would like you guys to make a note of the bullet point number two. Bullet point number two. Bullet point number two tells us what is this? Attempting to reconnect now, audio will not be reached. Got it. Can you guys hear my voice? Is my voice coming to you all? Can you guys hear me now? Guys, can you hear me now? Can you all hear me now? You are able to hear? Okay. Again, disconnected. No audio now. So is my voice coming? Okay. How about now? Is it okay now? Voice is clear but breaking. 
Okay, um, let me continue and uh, then probably we'll see how it uh, is going. Okay, so we're talking the partner function. <clears throat> Now, how, do, uh, how the different customization we do in the partner function? So, this is how the partner processing happens in the partner functions. Now, what does this basically mean? So, when I'm doing the partner processing, so in the transactions and the business partners, I can do transaction processing. We can define different partners. I would like you guys to draw this picture which you have in the figure 95. Okay, so now I open.
okay um can you see my screen now guys everyone i will log out and uh, it's not your problem uh, can you see, can you hear me my, uh, properly now is my voice coming to you or now i changed my network also um can you all hear me is my voice coming to you all can you all hear me hello can you all hear me is my voice coming to you all voice is coming okay okay um can, so is can you everyone say that is is uh, yeah i changed my network so can you uh, can you hear me my voice coming to you now everyone azam saeed ali raghavendra hazim yes voice and screen good oh wonderful okay let's just start now um okay i've changed my screen uh, actually meanwhile i can hear you fine okay good okay thanks so let's um, continue um, so we were uh, talking about our partner function and uh, so let me go back to the transaction so we were doing certain transactions sales and we were talking the partner processing and uh, that is where we actually determined our partner functions and we got partner function determined at header at the line item label okay so we now <clears throat> creating our partner function and this is the transaction we were doing now here when we creating a business transaction so like sales order sales quotation or any sales transaction this concept of partner function determination is very similar between sd and in crm and uh, so i would like you guys to draw this picture which you see at um, uh, figure 95 and what we see here is if i have a transaction if i am doing a transaction processing there is something called business func uh, category there is a partner function there is a procedure and there is a access sequence i would like you to draw these uh, boxes which you see at the screen Hey. Okay.
So now, where we have this? Thank you, Raghavendra. Thank you, everyone. So there is something called partner function category. So every partner function is associated to a category. So we have a partner function category and then partner function category can be linked to a partner function. There is a partner procedure and there is an access sequence. Now where are these things? So partner function category which define what category of this partner function it is. Partner function, same concept which we talked in SD also, which defines us what what uh, what is the function of this partner. So, like a sold to is a partner function, ship to is a partner function, build to is a partner function, pair is a partner function. So, similarly, we can have a many many partner functions. Then we can have a partner function uh, partner determination procedure. So, we can have a different different uh, uh, partner determination procedure in uh, SAP. So, we can define uh, uh, different uh, partner determination procedures. This is same concept we discussed in SD also. Then we have access sequence. Access sequence is also same concept which we talked in we discussed in SD and uh, <clears throat> access sequence provide us the search sequence or search strategy that how partner functions are being searched. So that come from a search strategy or that come from access sequence. So that also we can define in SAP system. Search strategy or access sequence is same thing. We have discussed about search strategy in uh, or access sequence in, in, uh, in SD also. So this is also uh, the same. Okay. So here we can have a partner function category. In the category, you can define so like a category employee. So if you look at here carefully, so in the category employee, you can have a partner function like a sales area manager, you have a salesperson, you have a sales employee. So if you go back here in the partner function tab, then in the partner function tab, you can have a different partner functions as you require. Yeah. And that you can do. Now here we have all these different partner functions. Okay. And then And then that is where we have a different partner functions. Now, I will also like you guys to make a note of partner functions are freely definable. Partner function categories are predefined. Make a note of that is statement. So means you can define as many as partner functions you want. So we have a sold to, ship to, build to, pair, sales employee, sales manager, and this. And then many, many partner functions are there in the standard ICP anyways. But apart from those partner functions which are there in the standard SAP, if you want to define some additional partner functions, 
then you can define those additional partner functions as well and you can define as many as partner functions as you want there is no um, uh, there is no uh, uh, there is no limitation that how many partner functions uh, you can define okay. and then but a partner function category are predefined partner function categories are predefined you cannot define categories categories are predefined so whatever categories are there those categories are predefined that you cannot change those categories are there and you can change you can keep those categories as it is okay categories are you cannot define categories are predefined this is the menu path please make a note of it <clears throat> so this is the menu path and uh, this is the menu path which we can utilize to go and define a partner function okay. Okay. so we can define this partner function This is the menu path. This is the menu path where uh, partner functions are defined. We're going to go there. We're going to change. We can configure our own partner procedure. That configuration we're going to do. <clears throat> now we have this screen partner determination procedure. Now I want to go to configuration. So I want to go to SPRO. I want to go to configuration. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Okay. So now I want to go to configuration. I want. I want to go to SPRO. SPRO. I want to go to configuration. So now what I'm doing is partner determination configuration. Now how the, all these things is working. The first thing which I want to do, the first thing I want to do Yes. is document type Z012 linked to a partner determination procedure. That is the first thing I want to check. That is the first thing I want to check. So I go to configuration. I go to SAP reference IMG. Customer relationship management. I go to transaction. And uh, I go to basic settings.
डिफाइंड ट्रांजेक्शन टाइप And here, Z zero twelve. So if I go to Z zero twelve, and if I see the detail of Z zero twelve. and if i scroll down and here we have a partner determination procedure 00001 so my document type is linked to the procedure that is the first thing so we saw my link to a partner determination procedure z012 that is the first link okay now what is the definition what is definition of partner determination procedure okay and now i want to check what is behind this z001 so i go back i select this i go back i go back then i go to basic functions i go to partner processing and here we have a defined partner determination procedure make a note of this menu path if you have not make a note of menu path this is where the partner determination procedures are defined okay i click on it and we have a partner determination procedure and then when i double click on it and that is what we see here so in this procedure 000001 we have these seven functions sold to party ship to party bill to party payer sales manager sales employee and the employee responsible we have these seven partner functions and that is why in this quotation we see these seven 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these seven are coming from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
Because V7 is defined into this. And that is why V7C here. Now here, in the partner determination procedure, we can have a partner function, sold to, ship to, bill to, pair, employee, responsible. Then you have different attributes. These are different attributes. First and foremost is min max number. So this is where we have a min and max number. So you can have only sold to party only one and maximum you can only have one. Ship to party you can have one, maximum you can have a one. But if you want sales employee, the same employee can minimum is one, but maximum you can have a five. You can have five sales employee if you want to. So that is what you can define here. And all these different partner function Now, can partner be changed in the transaction? Can partner be changed in the transaction? Can partner be changed? So, sold to party you cannot change. Other partner functions you can change. These are all different attributes. If you see my screen, so for each partner function, you have all these different attributes, which has been defined. For each partner function, you have all these different attributes. And in the last, we have here something called excess sequence. So we have access sequence. So this is the access sequence. Now, that is what we have here. Which search strategy should be used? And if we see here, <laughs> This is the search strategy. So now if you look at here, these two partners are not linked to any access sequence. So sales employee and sales manager are not assigned because remember here I told you that there is one, two, three, four, five here. But if I go to drop down, I have a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here I have a five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and if you go to drop down, then I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have a 7 here in the drop down. So why that is the difference? And that is the difference because, because these two are not assigned to any access sequence. So those two which is not assigned to any access sequence, therefore system cannot search. System cannot find it. System cannot search it. In order for the system to search, you have to have a partner determination procedure assigned to it.
and because these two are not assigned to any excess sequence therefore system does not take those partner function and assign to any excess sequence that system does not do because these two are not assigned to any excess sequence and that is why they are not coming here this is the menu path for determining partner determinant procedure that is where we come every partner function can be assigned to a partner determination search strategy if we come back here there is excess sequence there is a search strategy so each of these partner function 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you can have excess sequence you can define search strategy and uh, this partner function assigned to this search strategy this partner function assigned to this search strategy this assigned to this search strategy this assigned to this strategy and whatever search strategy they are assigned to system determine the source according to that and that is what we see here ha bhi aadha ghante mein okay i would like you guys to draw this picture and then we going to take 10 minute break we have a transaction type so we have a transaction type transaction type linked to a procedure procedure is linked to a function function linked to access sequence access sequence linked to all these different sources so whether i to go to current partner should i go to relationship should i go to organized data should i go to preceding document so these are the places where a document can go and search where the document is okay, okay. so i want to do a configuration i want to do a configuration of partner determination procedure so what i want to do first i want to configure a new partner determination procedure okay so that is the first thing second by copying a standard then we gonna remove sub partners from procedure then we add some partners from procedure then we assign procedure to doc type बैकलॉग 
ज्यादा लग गई उसको असाइन प्रोसीजर टू द ट्रांजेक्शन टाइप एंड देन वी टेस्ट इट एंड फॉर द टेस्टिंग वी क्रिएट ए ट्रांजेक्शन एंड वेरीफाई न्यू प्रोसीजर सो दैट इज वॉट वी कैन डू सो प्लीज मेक ए नोट ऑफ ऑल दीज स्टेप्स So make a note of these. So now I go to configuration. I am going to partner determination procedure, and here, this is my standard procedure. Then I copy this. and i can create a new procedure last first letter z the last letters could be whatever copy all so i copying a new procedure now so data get copied i save it i hit enter and we save it so now i have a procedure
and it is copied and I make it so now I got a procedure this is my procedure I go to partner function now in this procedure let us say I don't want uh, some of them so well I don't want this I don't want this I remove these two I don't want so I remove two I also want to add something So I want to do also save it and I also want to add it and I hit copy button and from the sales manager so let us say I want to add a new partner function and that is called sales clerk. Okay. And I remove it. Okay. And we save it. So what we did, we removed some partner function, we added some partner function. I want to assign my procedure <coughs> to the document type Z012. So that is the next step for me. So I back. slow I remove, I back. Okay. Now, I go to transactions. Okay.
in the transaction i go to transaction type transaction type g012 So this is my transaction type. And then we have a partner determination procedure. I assign my procedure. And I save it. Now we have saved it. Now we need to test it. So I want to create a new transaction. Okay, now I enter my customer. Now there is no error message here. And now I go to partner. And now here in the partner, we have five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I have a sales clerk. That a sales employee, employee responsible and all that is gone. And I have a five, not seven. I remove three added one and I have a five. So that is how we can determine the partner function. We create a new procedure. So now, so I'm in India, as you probably guys might know. So I'm uh, stopping the class now and uh, we will have full discussion next week. Um, when I'm back in uh, US. So when I'm back, I'm traveling this week. So next week I will be in the US and then we'll have a full discussion um, and full class and then probably next couple of weeks we'll uh, wrap up the course. Okay. Thank you everyone. Thank you all. And then I have a nice day. And uh...
and i will talk to you guys next week thank you all